everybody, are you ready to take your roofing game to the next level? Today we're going to be talking about isoboard, your secret weapon to a strong and energy efficient roof. First, let's talk about what is isoboard. Isoboard, or polyisocyanurate insulation board, is a rigid material used in roofing to provide thermal and moisture resistance. By using isoboard, you can improve energy efficiency and protect your roof from damage. This is super important. When filing a claim for roof damage, it is common for buildings to be upgraded to comply with current building codes as required by the IECC, or the International Energy Conservation Code, and the IBC, the International Building Code. Therefore, when replacing a roof, it's crucial to ensure that it meets the necessary codes. It's important to confirm that your insurance company or your policy covers code compliance, as failure to do so could leave you responsible for the cost of code upgrades out of pocket. So let's talk about that for a second. If we tear off a roof and it's only got like two inches of insulation and your city requires four and a half inches and your insurance company does not cover that in the code part of the policy, you would be responsible to bring that up to compliance with the, with the building code. And that is a very expensive proposition that most building owners don't wanna to have to do. It's very important to check your policies and make sure that they have the proper coverage for your building. One thing you'll notice about a ballasted or fully adhered system is many times they don't have rooftop insulation. They will secure the insulation via a blanket with a vapor barrier to the bottom side of the roof deck, as you see here. They roll the blankets out and they secure them with uh, tie wires and or fasteners and plates. This adds to the, uh, the R value of the overall roof system, but it's not nearly as effective as a rooftop rigid insulation. So one of the many benefits of using uh, polyiso for your insulating system, in order to replace this insulation, we would have to stop production for the business. They'd have to cover everything and all these blankets would have to be torn out and then reinstalled and it just really interrupts our customers' processes. So the benefit of going on the rooftop is we don't have to interrupt any of their business and they can keep going doing what they normally do while we add uh, insulating value to the top of the structure. So let's talk about the installation process of polyiso. Installing the boards on the roof involves a few key steps such as cutting and measuring them to fit properly, securing them with plates and screws, and filling any gaps to prevent air leakage. Most cities require a double layer of insulation with the joints staggered so that there is a thermal break so we don't get hot air coming up through the gaps in the insulation. Let's talk about the cost of polyiso. This is a premium product, so it is more expensive than a standard blanket type insulation or fiberglass or blown in insulation. This is a rigid board that goes on top of the roof deck. It's gonna be more expensive, but the results of it are gonna be superior energy efficiency, which in the long run should save you money on your utility bills. So polyiso has a superior R value rating of 6.6 .6 per inch versus a fiberglass blanket of 3.1 to 3.2 per inch. So we can pack way more R value into a smaller package and it provides rigidity to the structure as well. So in conclusion, polyiso board is a valuable addition to any roofing system, providing insulation and protection for your business. We hope this quick guide has helped you understand the benefits of using iso board for roofing. If this video has been helpful in any way, please like and subscribe to our channel and leave any comments below with other subjects you guys would like to learn more about. Thanks and have a great day.